not that I don't want you here yeah. It's something about the way you said to my eyes I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist you We can get away, palm trees, beach views, food and everything All I wanna hear is in the visions I replay Someone next to you how I feel about you, you feel as you wait We don't really want to, I just wanna get away Sit right next to you up y'all it is sunday i don't remember the last day where we left off but i got my brace on so i went oh yeah i told y'all about the doc the doctor that was on monday um and since i started taking the steroids um oh yesterday was supposed to be the last day but i forgot to take the last pill so i need to do that but um started taking the steroids and my hand got a lot better i can actually use it now it's not swollen anymore wrist is normal everything is pretty much back to normal with the exception of it's still very tender like I can't I don't have full functionality but I have probably like 70% so I'm so happy about that so grateful <laughs> that um, I'm able to use it again and yeah that's pretty much all that's happened this week I don't think I've even really gone anywhere uh, except to like go get food I don't have any more updates as far as my hand we're just gonna continue I stopped wearing my brace yesterday and we're just gonna continue to um, eat our plant-based diet and let our body heal naturally. So that's my plan. Now, I do have some products from Amazon that I wanna show y'all. We're about to unbox some of, um, I only have a couple of deliveries that I need to open and show y'all. So this is just a new bathroom cleaner I'm trying. I've never tried it before, so we'll see how it works. Um, I like Lysol products, though. So this is Lysol Power Bathroom Foamer. I like bathroom cleaners that don't have bleach because it makes me, like, nauseous and lightheaded when I'm in a room, like a confined space where people where it's too much of a bleach smell. I just don't like it. So, yeah, this one doesn't have bleach. Also got some more of the Sprayway stainless steel cleaner. That one, top tier, I love it. Oh, I try to always keep it on hand. <clears throat> and all of this stuff from Amazon, of course, is in my Amazon store. If you want cleaning products, there's a cleaning section. So you'll see um, the cleaning products linked there. It's so funny, you order stuff and then you can't remember what you ordered. <laughs> Literally have no idea what's in this product. So the next thing I ordered is some microfiber cloths. They, I guess they're shrink wrapped, but yeah, I needed more rags for like cleaning the bathrooms and kitchen and all that kind of stuff. And then also needed some new kitchen tiles, so I got a whole 12 pack of kitchen tiles. Um, because the ones I have are pretty, they on their way out the door, they need to go. Let's open up these tiles, see what we got. And I feel like these were a really good price, I think they were maybe like $20 for 12 tiles, which is really good. I will say they're a little bit thin. They're not like, mm, I think they're absorbent enough. So that's the black. For $20, I'm not gonna complain too much. I'm definitely gonna keep them because kitchen towels are expensive. You can pay $15, $20 for one pack of two. So yeah, this is the second one. So we just got six of each. And then the last thing I want to show y'all, which I don't need to unbox because I've already opened it and I already love it, but for Kane's room, I ended up going ahead and getting his neon signs. So here's the first one. Yeah, so his room has a gaming theme, which is why we got the Pac-Man duvet. So um, I wanted to continue that gaming thing, but gaming theme, but not have like, not have it be too cheesy. And I didn't want it to like say gaming or game on or you know what I mean like eat sleep play I didn't want those kinds of signs I wanted it to like say I wanted it to give you the feel of gaming but not say it might be literal about it you know so yeah I love this one and then could not not get this one uh, can y'all see the colors? I feel like it's not. Let me turn the camera around because I feel like y'all can't really see it good. There we go. 
So this is the Pac-Man sign. Of course, we had to do Pac-Man. It's only right. <laughs> so yeah, he got the Pac-Man sign and then he also got this blue gaming sign. And I'm obsessed with this. I think it's so cute. And then there is one more, which is da da na na headphones. So yeah, we got the controller, we got the Pac-Man, and we got some headphones. So yeah, that's all his uh, signs. And his room is mostly done at this point. We need to find like some kind of Hello Cody. We need to find some kind of uh, seating for his room, but other than that, and some kind of window treatments. But other than that, we're pretty much done. So I'm excited about that. Right now we're working on cleaning Cody's closet. So she has... I didn't get to show y'all this. She got this for, my mom bought this for her. It wasn't for like Christmas or anything. It was just like a gift. So that's where she's putting her jewelry, her perfumes, even though she had more perfume than that. I don't know what the rest of it is. Um, just finished cleaning off her desk. And now we're about to like tackle the trash and all of this kind of stuff that's just in here. She's gonna have to use the vacuum attachment or the hose to come back here and get all of this stuff up. She needs to clean her windowsill and then she needs to like vacuum the entire carpet. So yeah, that's what we're about to do. Her room is mostly clean. She does need to bring the chair and the um, this basket back into her closet. But for the most part, her room is pretty clean. I forgot to tell y'all that with Pottery Barn. Um, well, I think I told y'all that with Pottery Barn. They charge your card initially then you um you get like the charge is pending and then it drops off and then as they're making your order your furniture whatever it is um once it's done and like getting close to being ready to ship out they'll recharge your card so i got recharged for her couch for her room so that should be coming pretty soon it said march so we'll see it's january right now so i don't know if it's gonna come in february or march and it will go right here. So her little couch will be here. Her room will be mostly done. Um, the only thing I think she needs after that is maybe a mirror, like a long mirror right here so she can see herself after she gets dressed. And I was thinking maybe some kind of really shallow table, like a console table for right here. Maybe we can put like some decorations, flowers, something on top of that, just to kind of hide all of this stuff that's happening right here. Oh yeah, and window treatments. And then her room will be done too. Um, oh, and some kind of decorations for the wall, which we haven't even, we did not get that far, so I'm not quite sure what we're gonna get for here, for in here, but yeah, that's all she needs. She just went to go grab her shoes out of the mud room. Um, we were just using those rags and stuff to clean her desk. You also need to clean this mirror, Cody. So take the uh, wet rag and wipe that mirror and then take the dry rag and dry it off. Okay. Just grabbing the vacuum attachment for her real quick. We just keep them up here so that they never get lost. This hallway needs to get vacuumed too. Here.
Okay, so we got most, I think uh, Kane and Cody's rooms are clean. We got the, this floor has been swept, still needs to be mopped. My room got cleaned. Floor swept and mopped. Um, this floor still needs to be vacuumed. And we need to take these shoes upstairs and then get rid of all these extra boxes that don't have anything in them. Um, and yeah, so they're done with most of their chores, but King is cleaning out the fridge. And we have all of this cheese left over from um, Christmas. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna make some macaroni and cheese just to use it up so that um, it's not just sitting here going bad. So I pulled out my Dutch oven for the first time. I've never used this before. I'm, I don't think I even actually pulled it out and looked at what it looks like. Can you, Kane, pull this out the box. Yes, yeah, cast iron. Go ahead. Fudge cakes. Be careful, because if you drop that, it's going to hurt. If you hit yourself with it. Oh, oh. Huh? Look how heavy it is. Oh, it's so pretty. Cause it's yeah. So I think this will be the perfect thing to make the macaroni and cheese in. Cause not only can I cook it in here, but I can also bake it in here. So that'll be perfect. Okay. It's so pretty. If you eat, it can cause lung inflation. Ah, so nice. I love it. And it can get hurt. This is from, y'all, I got this before we moved in, but it's from Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know if they sell it anymore, but if they do, I'll link it, because it's definitely worth the money. This is really nice. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it out and then start making the, what is it? Macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and use up this milk since nobody really likes it. We went back to almond milk. We tried this, nobody liked it, so we went back to almond milk. So I'll use this for um, the macaroni and cheese just to get rid of it. Green light. Red light. <laughs> Green light. Red light. <laughs> Corey, you cheated. cheated. Take a step back. Green light. I win. <laughs> Cody won. <laughs> Go back, Corey. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. <laughs> Green light. Red light. Go back, Corey. Okay. A little more. A little more back. <laughs> Get up. Don't stand in front of her. Go to the side. Green light. Red light. <laughs> Green light. You won. <laughs> All right, y'all. We pretty much have reset for the week. Most of the, dish the dishes are pretty much done. Um, I made the macaroni and cheese, and I made... Actually, there was some pork left in the fridge that I wanted to use before it went bad. So I just made pulled pork with it for them to have for dinner. Oops. And... Um, yeah, they still have the macaroni and cheese. And that's pretty much it. I'm about to go lay down for the rest of the day. I'm going to chill. I ain't got much else to do. But I did just get a delivery, so I want to show y'all what I got from Target. Although it's not really, like, a lot of home stuff. But, oh my gosh, it feels so good to walk on this mudroom floor without it being covered in, like, mud.
Hmm, I wonder where they put the package. It might be on the front porch. Yep, it's on the front porch. My wrist is still, it hurts when I use it to do certain things, but I'm trying to build the strength back up in it. Oh, okay. It's gotta be out here. So I wanted to try this. This had really good reviews. It's the Dr. Bronner's lip balm. I've been looking for a good lip balm. I showed y'all the EOS one that I got, but I'm not really a fan of it. It's okay, but it's kind of, stiff it makes my lips feel a little bit stiff yeah this one has hemp oil in it or it's made with hemp oil i wonder if it's like mostly hemp oil or what but as long as it feels good it keeps my lips from being trapped it makes them Ooh, yeah i like the way that goes on and i like the smell too And like the way it looks. Okay, we'll see how it holds up over time. And then I got a couple other things. So I wanted to try this. I needed a new face wash. So I was like, let me just try this one because I saw it um, on Target's website. I mean, in the Target app. And then I also saw it. Hold on. Here we go. So it's the La Roche Pose. This is the Gentle Foaming washing gentle foaming moisturizing wash um and if i like this i might try some different products from that line um and then i just got some body oil so this is just for when you like getting out of the shower out of the tub or whatever i want to try this out and the last thing is some bubble bath i like the dr tills bubble baths and then I, this one is the first for me i've never tried this one before but it's the pink himalayan so yeah that's everything I got from Target. I just wanted to get some like self-care stuff. So that's my little self-care haul. And yeah, I'm about to go chill out for the rest of the day and I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. Push. Good morning. So today's the day we're getting our new floor. Uh, the people just pulled up. Let me show y'all one more time what the floor looks like right now. Y'all seen it a million times, but let me show you because this is the last time you're gonna see it. We went ahead and cleared out everything. So it is ready to go. I need to move my tripod, but this is what the floor looks like right now. And we're gonna say goodbye to it. <laughs> Thank goodness, because I'm so over it. Okay, we just went out, and they weren't done yet when we left. But I just got back in the house, and now I want to show y'all because it looks so good. Okay. Good morning. So let me show y'all one more time what the floor looks like um, in a different light because it's not super bright today. It's a little bit more gloomy outside, but it looks so good. Okay. Yeah, I'm obsessed with the way that this floor turned out. What is this? Is that a piece of cereal? Anyways, I'm obsessed with how it turned out. It looks so freaking good. I love it. I think we chose the perfect color when it comes to like how it looks against the cabinets. It's not the exact same color, but it's super close and it gives just enough contrast in my opinion. It's like a more cool toned wood than the wood that we have. And the wood on our cabinets is pretty cool toned, but the floor is even more cool. So I just really like that. And I love the fact that y'all know, like I showed y'all the design that I came up with for the dining room. I'll put it up on the screen one more time for y'all to see. 
Um, the light has already been ordered, which y'all know is from our house. I already ordered it. Still have not ordered the dining room table yet, but when that light color wood table goes on this floor, up against this dark wood, it's gonna look so good. And then the light colored chairs, I think it's gonna look amazing. So I'm super excited. Still trying to decide if I wanna do black um, legs or gold legs or brass. Yeah, black or gold. I'm not the biggest fan of gold hardware, especially since we're doing black light fixtures and we're gonna switch out all of the, you know, the backsplash is about to be black. And you know that the, or I didn't tell y'all yet, but all of the um, light fixtures are going to be black and glass, but also all of the like faucets and stuff like that are going to be matte black too. So, I mean, it could be a nice contrast to have some gold on the chairs, but I'm just kind of worried that I will be tired of them before it's time to be tired of them. So I'm still, you know, kind of going back and forth about that. But yeah, so that's what we have so far um the backsplash is actually going to be installed tomorrow i just finished talking to uh the sales rep at the company that we went with good morning so i'm actually rushing because people are actually here to do the backsplash so let me show y'all what it looks like right now because they're going to ring the doorbell at any moment they're actually a couple hours early so this is what the backsplash looks like right now and can y'all see that there's a truck in the garage or in the driveway they're about to come in and start working on the backsplash as a reminder here's the tile so yeah um i just wanted to give y'all one more look at it so y'all can see what it looks like Yes. Oh, okay. And I, so this right here is meant to be fixed at some point, right? As you know, owning a home, you gotta fix it at some point because it's just water coming out. Yeah. So in the winter, that's gonna freeze if you don't. So what we do is we basically trench it down about, uh, the frost line in Virginia is 18 inches. We usually trench it down about two to three feet, and then we'll take all of it out. Gotcha. Uh, and then like eight feet from your project area is usually where we stop, but I can go further. Okay, so we are currently getting an estimate to build a patio. Can't really show y'all like everything because I don't want to have the camera out and recording everything, but um, I'll talk y'all through it once we have some details. Once I have some details to share. Good morning, y'all. So it is the next day. I'm so sorry. Like I was so tired. I went to sleep because what the hell is this? This better not have stained my cat. Ca Look at this. These kids. It definitely, <clears throat> they stained it a little bit. It, it blends in though, cause of the nature of the counters. We can't have anything. I, I, I would like to know what that is. And I guarantee you when I ask, everybody's going to play dumb and nobody's going to know where it came from or what it is. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's like 6.30. I just woke up um, a little bit ago. I had to like use the bathroom and do all and get myself ready. Just ready. <laughs> um, this is about as ready as I'm going to get today. But I need to show y'all the counter or the backsplash, the finished backsplash, because I haven't had a chance to do that yet. And then I want to talk about what, what we intend to do in here, like as far as decor. So here it is. This is what the backsplash looks like. This is not going to be here permanently. <laughs> um, 
it'll probably only be here when we're using it. Um, but yeah, I think the backsplash looks great. I love it. And like I told y'all before, I intend to do pretty much all white decor. So this, this is this board I bought before we even moved in. So I don't know that it's gonna stay. Um, because it is kind of clashing a little bit, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, so clearly the theme in here is black and white. The theme in every room is pretty much gonna be black and white. Y'all already know the living room is black and white. This, these chairs are most likely gonna be black and white once I get them. Um, and the table is gonna be that light gray. Now I need to find some counter stools that kind of go with the theme too. But yeah, this is how it looks. Um, let me back y'all up a little bit. So I know some of y'all, when I asked how y'all thought it would look, some of y'all thought it would be um, too dark. I personally don't think it's too dark because it's such a small area. So let's talk about what I intend to do. First, under cabinet lighting. That is a must. So this cabinet, that cabinet, that cabinet and that cabinet will all have under cabinet lights. Under the microwave, obviously it has a surface light. So that can be used to light up under here. Um, but we need some kind of under cabinet lighting, especially at night. I was intended to do that no matter what, but now that it is black under here, it definitely needs it. And it's gonna highlight all the white stuff that we put under it it's time to start adding some decor. So we have the white coffee maker. The coffee right now goes in here, but we need some white canisters. So um, I was looking last night on Crate and Barrel. I found a couple of white canisters that I like, so I might be ordering those today. And then that's what's gonna be over here. I think we're gonna do coffee maker. The froth is already white, coffee maker's already white. White canisters, one for coffee, one for sugar. And then these, Kid cups, I think we're gonna have to maybe store them somewhere else because it can't, it's not gonna be able to sit on top like it is right now. And then that, I think over here, I might do a white tray with some coffee syrups or something. We need to figure out decor for this coffee area, coffee bar area over. And then I also think I might be ordering um, a white soap dispenser, like an automatic soap dispenser. Or even if I, if I can find like a really nice white pump soap dispenser, that would be cute to go right here. You know what? Amazon has a set that's actually in my cart. I'm going to show y'all um, that could work for everything I need. And it's pretty inexpensive. And it comes in matte white. Does it come with a tray too? I think it comes with a tray too. So it would be like trays, the tray with the canisters and... And then maybe the soap pump. We'll see. I don't know. I gotta I gotta look at it again. I don't remember what comes with it. And here, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do a really tall footed white uh fruit bowl. Found one on crate and barrel that I love. Um, so it's about 10 inches tall, which hits about right here. So I'm gonna have to show y'all. And then I'm gonna do a book stand for my cookbooks. I'm gonna order maybe three or four cookbooks and have one on a book stand. And the other three will be inside of um, white marble bookends. So fruit bowl, cookbooks, open cookbook. I think that's going to be so pretty. And that's it for this counter. And then over here, I'll probably find another white, really big white, like not really big, but like a white something kind of like vase or something to stick utensils in so it could be like some wood utensils or maybe white utensils cooking utensils um aesthetic of course <laughs> if it's wood utensils then that would kind of this would make sense if they're white then maybe not and then right here of course i'm gonna layer some cutting boards so that's kind of what i'm thinking um i don't know if i'm gonna stick with like this wood and white theme or if i'm gonna go with just maybe like plain white marble cutting boards or if I'm going to try to pull some black into them. I saw some really nice black and white or gray and white marble cutting boards on Amazon. So that's a good option. Um, and then we have marble and white spoon rest and a white marble 
napkin holder. We're just out of napkins right now. So, yeah, that's it. This I debated about getting this in white or black, and I ended up going with black because I figured it would hold. Because I figure it would hold up better um, in our kitchen. And um, I'm not gonna say I regret it because I don't. It still looks good. The screen is still, you know, not black, so it still kind of adds some contrast up against the. Uh, what's this thing called? Backsplash. So yeah, that's where we are. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. This counter will stay the same. I'll continue to use the spoon rest right here. Napkins will stay right there. Alexa will stay. And we'll find some nice... January 27th. We'll find some nice cutting boards. You cannot say her name. Um, yeah, this, this gotta go, for sure. So this is the point where I'm gonna ask y'all for help because I feel like I need some direction, <laughs> especially with this coffee bar area. So if y'all have any ideas about anything for this kitchen, now that we have the back, back the black backsplash, I feel like we need white to kind of really make things pop against it. Um, so yeah, let me know what y'all think as far as what we should be putting on the counters. If y'all have better ideas than the, than the ones I have, please let me know so we can get this done together. But yeah, that's as far as I got. I'm about to make myself some vegan caramel sauce because I am dying, dying for iced coffee. So I'm about to have my first iced coffee in like weeks <laughs> since I went back mainly plant-based. I have not had an iced coffee and I don't think I had one even like a week or two before that. So yeah, it is time, it is time. So I looked up some recipes, about to pop everything into a pan and get this happen, get this going. My makeup, my hair, my dress is exactly how I want it. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. Everything is perfect. Okay, so banana bread is in the oven. For the vegan caramel, it starts with coconut cream. So one cup was pretty much exactly all the cream that was in the um, can. So yeah, one cup of coconut cream. Mm. Pretty good. Last we saw them, 
they had what was your initial reaction when you found out you were pregnant? I was being at my facility, my past the best team working out for, yeah, for weightlifting. Okay. Good afternoon, y'all. Welcome. Mm, I think this is a continuation. This is not a new video. Um, today is Saturday. We're about to head out in a bit to go. I'm going to do some shopping, like some home decor shopping. And uh, the girls are going on like a daddy-daughter date with Bernie. They're going to go into Sweet Frog and wherever else. They can drop me off or I can drop them off and we can just figure it out from there. But yeah, I want to go to Target. I want to go to Crate and Barrel, but I don't. There's not one near me. I'm gonna have to go all the way to Richmond, which is over an hour away. Um, but right now, oh, here she comes. Did you wash your hands? Wash your hands. Um, I'm working on Corey's hair because it was y'all saw it the last couple days. It's, it was a mess. So I just finished uh, washing it. Well, I'm still kind of in the process of, of detangling. So I have conditioner in it. I'm using the Garnier Whole Blends Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna detangle it and then blow dry it. I need to trim her ends, do it, do something with it. And then we're gonna head out to the store and we'll see what the day takes us. I don't know what else we're gonna do today, but I'm excited. So <laughs> I'll see y'all in a little while. Okay, so we made it to Target, but I don't really see much. I'm gonna keep looking, see what I find. Um, the one thing that I saw online that I wanted to get here was the book stand, uh, cookbook stand for the kitchen. So we'll see if we can find that. Here it is. I'm gonna go try it out and see how it looks with the, with the book in it. And then we'll see if it actually is gonna work. Cause I really don't want the wood to show at all. I don't like the wood. This is actually really nice. I like the shape of it. I like the style of it. I wish the color was a little lighter. It's a little brown, but if you're going, if you're like going for that nudes kind of look and different shades of like whites and nudes, that would be really pretty. They also have a smaller version that's a little bit more tan. And this is also really pretty. This I would definitely buy. If this weren't so short, it would be exactly what I'm looking for, for a fruit bowl, but I want one with this like footed that has a pedestal, but that is pretty. I think it's hearth and hand too. Oh, it's Threshold, Studio McGee. It's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna leave this. I don't like the way it looks. It's like, it's just not, it's not doing it. So, this is gonna stay. But, I'm gonna get the vase, cause this vase is cute. <laughs> and I know I'll use it somewhere at some point, even if it's not right away. And I don't want it to be gone when I actually am ready to use it. Yeah, I would rather have it um, when I need it than not have it when I do, when I need it, you know? <laughs> Turn to side. 